I'm going to improvise with this, so give me some slack. Cut me some slack right here. Here's a list of bands that you I recommend. These aren't going to be bands that you'll consider classics. That's why I'm referring to them because a lot of them are very popular, but they're not in the classic status. They're not in the status where these are things that you must listen to before you die, like Tool or Alice in Chains or Metallica or Megadeth or Beatles, Zeppelin. You know what I'm trying to say here. Right off the bat, Corrosion of Conformity. Their older sound was very punkish, thrash, badass. I love how there's a lot of great thrash metal bands that are given their time of the day because they're not in the top four. And I'm glad that Anvil is getting a bigger name because now that that's getting more of a rep, these old school thrash bands that weren't part of Big Four, now they're getting some validity. Plus, Corrosion of Conformity, their more developed sound is Leonard Skinner meets heavy metal type shit, and I love that. I love a lot of Corrosion of Conformity songs that have that stoner rock, southern vibe to it. That doomish Ozzy Osbourne badassery. So listen to them. Float Sam and Jet Sam. Float Sam and Jet Sam is another underrated thrash metal band. Um, they sound really, really good. Older sound, their newer sounds a lot more groovier. It's more in the groove metal Pantera vibe, but their thrash is unbelievably heavy. I never heard anything as heavy as that, just from a rhythmic standpoint. It's easy to sound really heavy if you down tune a lot and play really, really slowly, guys. So don't BS it. These guys don't BS it. Another thing is the old bass player was the first replacement for Cliff Burton of Metallica. Third band, Ugly Kid Joe. Ugly Kid Joe is labeled butt rock and it's known for its cheesiness in the 90s. But they're a forgotten gem and they've made some really badass songs that enjoy listening to them. Goddamn Devil is one song I even favorited. Also, you should listen to their cover of Metallica's Master of Puppets. It's much better than a Trivium cover. And to say that, that's amazing in itself. Number... By the way, the grudge movement, I think, kind of overshadowed Ugly Kid Joe, and that kind of bothers me. But I love grunge, so whatever. Number four, quicksand. This is how post-hardcore music should have sounded, with its down-tuned nature and odd time signatures. It comes off more as Tool, if Tool was a post-hardcore metal band. I mean, post-hardcore punk band. Uh, quicksand sounds really good. There's Phaser, Thorn in My Side. A lot of different songs that I think you should listen to. They've written some impressive shit and it's kinda like Helmet. Helmet and Quicksand both accomplished this kind of sound that makes me feel like I should kick some ass right now. And it's not heavy metal, it's punk. So give it a try, give it a listen. Number five, Neuroses. Neuroses is something you should listen to if you already are a fan of sludge metal. Just like Isis, it's one of those bigger names. But Neuroses kicks ass, I don't care. Neuroses is something that... I don't know how to describe this. Um, their songs are cryptic. Their songs are full of detail. They really made an art out of their albums. Listen to their albums, it's sort of an art what they've done. 
not artsy fartsy hipster art. I'm talking about it's cryptic, it's dark, it's uses a lot of different audio clips from movies and things like that and I like the dynamic between the chorus and what's not the chorus and yeah give them a try too number six is grunt truck they've toured with Alice in Chains back in 92 rest in peace Ben McMillan um, and there's nothing much to say they're the heavier side of grunge and they're not part of big four yet they're really badass give them a try you'll love it trust me um, number seven is my sister's machine again just like grunge truck but one of the drummers was an older member of Alice and Chains the older predecessor to Alice in Chains, so give that a try, and yeah, there's some good songs there too. But moreover, another grunge on the heavier side band that wasn't on the big four and deserves more credit is Thread. Thread, man. This band kicks ass. They also have a more cryptic dark side to them. But in general, their songs are very balanced. The material is decent. Everyday Grace, the self-titled album. You should give a lot of it a listen to. It's brilliant work. Number nine, Drama Rama. Going back to the punk side, this is a power pop band with punk vibe and a blue collar rock vibe that I enjoy a lot. It's a band that I've sort of forgotten two years ago, but now that I'm going back to it, I miss the living shit out of this band. It's great. Listen to it. List to last cigarettes, scenario. Listen to anything, anything. Yeah, there's a lot of great shit. Ten is the germs. They're not so good with their instruments, they're pretentious university fucks, and they're badass as fuck. They're the epitome of everything that kicks ass about early punk rock. Eleven is Dozer. Dozer's on hiatus now, but they're one of those stoner rock bands that they're from Sweden, and that's pretty big in Sweden. They kick a lot of ass. That's something I use a lot and I throw around, but... When you listen to Dozer, you, you're kind of surprised that this band isn't from an earlier period, just because the material is so album-oriented and badass. The newer works aren't like this, though. Newer works take one song off the album, and that's a single right there because it's so powerful, the newer works. For the older works, you've got to experience the entire album. And finally, we got Primus. When you think about the 90s and all the big um, bands that weren't part of any scene, you're usually thinking about Tool. With its awesome bass playing, drumming, and things of that nature. Primus matches them in a different level. Sure, they're not odd timed, but they pull off a different, more funky vibe. It's sort of transcendent rock in its own way. Give them a fucking try. Give all of these bands a fucking try. Best way to describe it is like. Tool and Primus were like in the 90s what Red Hot Chili Peppers and Faith No More were in the 80s. Alright, so that's my full list. Hope you enjoyed it. This video is pretty long. Peace out, guys.